Okay, so Netflix Geeked is going on right now, and w yesterday we got some pretty awesome shows, like little teasers here and there, and one of those shows, well, we're going to talk about a couple of those shows right here, so before we get into it, this might be one of another episode of a podcast. A podcast is coming back, trust me. I am developing some stuff for it, but I think that, like just talking about big news and things like this will be the way to do it for now, but... Let's talk about one of the new shows that is coming. Well, we're going to talk about three right now. But one of the shows coming to Netflix, and that is The Midnight Club. Also, we have Wednesday and also Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosity. So before we get into all of those, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, wherever you're watching. If you're on YouTube, we are on the road to 25,000 subscribers. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Let's talk about it. So The Midnight Club is Mike Flanagan's latest new like thing from Netflix. And after we saw what he did with Midnight Mass, I'm going to watch everything Mike Flanagan does. I think what he did with Haunting of Hill House, The Haunting of Bly Manor, Dr. Sleep. He's just been doing some of the best horror we've seen in quite some time now. So this new show from him is going to be a must see. So the Midnight Club basically is going to follow the novel from Christopher Pike and it will be 10 episodes long. The show will follow seven teenagers at a hospice for terminally ill young adults known as Rotterdam Home. The group dubbed themselves the Midnight Club due to their favorite activity, which is going to be sharing scary stories at midnight. Thus, you get the Midnight Club. They make a pact that the first one of them to die will be responsible with communicating with the rest of the group from beyond the grave. And so pretty much this is what we're going to see. So we start to see that strange occurrences happen once one of them does pass away. And so now we're left with a show that's just going to be filled with a lot of mystery, I feel. So the show will star a Igby Rigney, Ruth Cod, Aya Furukawa, Anara Shepard, William Chris Sumter and Sarian Sapkota. And I probably butchered all those names. Excuse me. I'm sorry. So a lot of this is also going to be like just from the teaser alone in the trailer. If you've already seen it, it just looks like Mike Flanagan's print all over it. But it still feels very much so fresh. And I thought Midnight Mass was just such an underrated show. I want to do a whole video on it as well. So stay tuned for that because I think that. It was so like, like went under the radar. And I think it had a lot to do with the timing of the show and everything and just everything that was going on at the time. So I do want to make another video on it because I think it deserves so much more praise than it got. But Midnight Club, it just sounds like something that's going to be like in the feels for real. Like I'm, I'm telling you, Midnight Mass was one of those. And I think that Midnight Club is going to be the same way. So Definitely excited for that. But we also got our first look at Wednesday, who will be played by Jenna Ortega. So this little teaser gave nothing away. It was just our first look and just to create hype. So pretty much this is going to follow Wednesday as she is going to Nevermore Academy, trying to develop her powers and solve a 25 year old mystery in her family as well as trying to survive this attack that's going on. So we will have Catherine Zeta-Jones and Luis Guzman playing both Morticia and Gomez Adams, who are Wednesday's parents. And this is going to be directed by none other than Tim Burton and composed by Danny Elfman. So you know we're about to get some iconic scenes here. So this show definitely is one of my top watches of the year. So we don't currently have a full release date, but I'm expecting this to come out around sometime Halloween there is no way that this doesn't come out during that spooky season and hopefully this could be something pretty good to watch as well and I like the whole aspect of just following Wednesday I'm excited to see how Jenna Ortega will portray Wednesday we will also have Christina Ritchie in the show who actually was Wednesday at a point as well so I'm excited to see all of that be played out but definitely definitely excited whatever uh, Netflix is trying to throw at us here. Now, one of the last shows that also got announced here is the Guillermo del Toro Cabinet of Curiosities. And this sounds like it's going to be a bunch of different um, little shorts being presented or episodes. So basically what you see here is that two of the episodes will feature stories developed by del Toro and different writers will be directing each episode as well. Jennifer Kent, who did the Babadook. Uh, we also have Guillermo Navarro, who worked on Narcos. 
we do also have Panos Cosmatos who worked on Mandy. We do have Vincenzo Natali who worked on Cube. And this one's the one I've been most excited for is Anna Lily Amirpour who worked on A Girl Walks Home. I know, Alone at Night, I'm sorry. Um, I think that was one of the most underrated films as well. This one definitely has a lot of... Um, I, I feel like beautiful images and it just, I feel like not a lot of people talk about this film. So I'd be doing a video on that as well. So um, I'm just jotting down these things that come to me as I'm making these videos. Uh, but this is just like a normal little conversation um, I like to have with y'all. So this will also have uh, Ben Barnes, Essie Davis, Crispin Glover, Andrew Lincoln, um, starring in here as well. And I'm excited to see Crispin Glover in some horror because I thought he was so good in a show called The Exorcist, which I, I think is another very underrated show that didn't get a lot of praise. So I'll be doing a video on that. I feel like this video, this like podcast I'm doing here is just like giving me more ideas. And hey, that's always a good thing, right? We always want to do more stuff here. So um, this sounds interesting. I'm curious to see exactly what exactly these shorts will look like, these episodes. And I think that this sounds just awesome, like an anthology type thing. And these are very much so powerhouse directors, writers in this. So I'm expecting some really good stuff. But I mean, those were just some of the like three things that I was most excited to hear about Netflix on Netflix Geek yesterday. So just wanted to share them, get your thoughts and opinions on them as well. Which one you're most excited for? Definitely, I think the Wednesday and Midnight Club are the top ones just because of the people behind it, I think, are going to deliver such an amazing amount of work. So I'm very excited for this spooky season with Netflix and I cannot wait. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. But anyways, as always, I just wanted to talk about those shows as well. Make sure you check out my Satanic Panic Stranger Things video as well. I have up on YouTube and go ahead and subscribe as well. I will be doing this podcast every other day, especially this week. I think I might just do it every day since Netflix Geeked is all week and there might be a lot of stuff I might miss if I don't cover it. So definitely stay tuned for that. But anyways, as always, I'll see all of you next time. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Hit the notification bell. As always, stay safe, stay positive, my friends.